The sun is shining with promise of warmer weather just around the corner here at Wonderfill HQ, and so it's time to protect your eyes from those UV rays. Bucket hats are back in style, so we've got the perfect trendy and functional tutorial for you today. A color blocked bucket hat inspired by 90s fashion, and get this, it's reversible. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to sewing. First, let's talk about what you'll need. Start by printing out our free downloadable pattern from the description box below. We've included a dotted line along the brim pattern piece if you'd like to do an oversized brim, as well as some ties if you're making this bucket hat for a little one. Print out the pattern and cut your pieces as follows. You'll need two crown pieces, four brim pieces if you're color blocking, or two cut on the fold if you're doing a solid color, four band pieces if you're color blocking, or two cut on the fold if you're doing a solid color. For the band, leave a quarter inch seam allowance on the bottom edge to account for stitching the band together. Two of the optional tie pieces cut on the fold if you choose. We're going to be using confetti, our 50 weight Egyptian cotton thread, to stitch this funky hat together. Confetti is soft to the touch, which makes it the perfect option for a soft hat like this. Because it's cotton, it's tough enough to hold up through the wash, wear and tear, and general tugging on the seams. In our bobbin, we'll be using Deco Bob, our 80 weight cottonized polyester pre-wound bobbins. And for some decorative stitching along the brim, we've decided to use our 50 weight Egyptian cotton variegated thread called Tutti. Tutti is the perfect thread for this for all the same reasons we chose confetti, with just a little extra touch of spring because of its variegated colors. First, start by stitching the band pieces together. Line up the ends right sides together and stitch along the short edge using a quarter inch seam allowance, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and end of your stitch. Once they're all stitched together, it should look something like this. Next, pin the crown right sides facing down to the edges of the band. Go slowly and carefully. Line up the edges making sure that there's no bunching of the fabric as this will cause puckering around the crown of your hat. Slowly stitch around the edges of the crown using a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you're done, backstitch at the edge and snip your thread. Lay your pieces out again to make sure the plan for your brim color blocks are still correct and stitch them together along the short edge, right sides together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Pin the brim to the band fabric, right sides together, and stitch around the edge using a quarter inch seam allowance. Repeat all of these same steps for the other set of fabric. This fabric will create the inside of the hat. When stitching the brim to the band, leave about a two inch gap to turn it right sides out later. You can use a larger gap if you're using heavier fabric. You should now have two complete hat pieces. Put the two sides of your hat right sides together. Line up the edges and pin them, making sure that there's no puckering between any of the pins that might cause a puckered edge. Stitch around the outside using a quarter inch seam allowance, and as always, backstitch at the beginning and end. Turn your hat right sides out and spend a little bit of time getting them lined up perfectly. And stitch the hole we left shut with some confetti and a hand stitching needle. Load your variegated 2D thread into your machine, still using Deco Bob in the bobbin, 
and place your first row of top stitching around the edge of your brim using a quarter inch seam allowance. Overlap your stitches a little bit when you come back around to where you started so that you don't have any pesky or messy looking back stitching on the brim of your hat. Sew another row of top stitching about a quarter inch away from the first row or line the first row of stitching up with the outside edge of your presser foot and continue all the way around, again overlapping a bit at the end of your stitch. Repeat this step until your top stitching reaches the band edge of the brim. This top stitching will give some firmness to the brim of your bucket hat, so that on windy days it won't flip up when you don't want it to. And there you have it. You've just made a stylish, color blocked, reversible hat inspired by 90s fashion. Go out there and rock your new spring accessory with the pride of knowing that you made this funky little piece. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe for more great tips, tricks, and tutorials. You can also sign up for our weekly newsletter to get the first look at projects, sewing tips that will make you jump for joy, and inspirational tutorials. You can follow the link in the description box below to sign up. And if you're all about garment making, we have the perfect newsletter for you. Get the exclusive first access to patterns and projects tips to make the best of your garment making, and more. Subscribe to our educational Wonderful Wearables newsletter for tips, tricks, and tutorials specific to garment making, all delivered straight to your inbox. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again next time.